Before we get into this video, you guys already know that it's been a few days since I last uploaded. I usually try to upload every other day or even every day if I have a video for you guys. But I've been going through some issues here at home and you guys already know when life kicks in, you got to start doing whatever you got to do to survive. So that's kind of what I've been doing right now. Um, I've been helping Sheldon out a lot, back and forth, been doing a lot of things every single day, really busy. A really busy schedule I have not been recording because a lot of it is, hasn't been like really like like good stuff to record it's been here and there and then jumping back and forth but I got a good video for you guys today and the next video I promise you guys uh, the next one will be a pretty good one I'm thinking of uh, getting the injectors wired in and also Maybe having uh, Sheldon take it around the block, rip it a few times after that. But either way, let's just get into this video and see you guys at the end of it. What's up you guys welcome back to the garage today we're going to be swapping out that brake booster that we got at the junkyard the other day and we're also going to be swapping out the slave for the clutch this one right here we're going to be swapping it out for the one that's right over there and you guys can see the brake booster that i'm going to be pulling out it's going to be a pain but i'm going to have to pull it off from here i also went ahead and i grabbed the line um, I grabbed the line that goes on here because this line, as you guys can see, has a check valve right here. So I'm going to just go ahead and try to run this one to see if that makes a big difference or anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and start pulling this off. Um, this is going to be all number 12s. And then I got to remove this line here. And over here, or actually I don't have to remove those lines. I could just probably just leave this connected and just pop it off from over here. So remove the two the 212s that are back there on each side. And then this piece will come right off. And then there's four on the inside that are 12 also that are under the dash. And then there's a little clip that's under there too. you guys i just ran into a huge problem i'm gonna show you right now the master cylinder is completely different bolt size everything fits on there this one's this is the new uh brake booster that i got at the junkyard everything lines up on the inside but over here in the engine bay let me show you what i'm talking about you guys see the size right here now let me show you the old setup this one's the old brake booster. You guys see the difference right here? I can't put this on the inside. So that means that this guy only fits on here. Perfect. But on the one that I got from the EG, you guys see that? It only fits on one, one side. This side will line up perfect. But you guys can see how short this side is. So I'm gonna have to go back to the junkyard and grab the other one that I took off, the original one. And I believe it should work because the lines, the, the brake lines should be the same. 
So I'm gonna head to the junkyard right now and try to see if somebody, hopefully nobody messed around with that piece that I left there. You guys know that I was really careful removing everything. So I'm just gonna go to the junkyard now and see if I could get that part. I'm trying to rush to get back here, get to the junkyard. I got a bunch of other things I gotta do. And now this just slowed everything down. They moved it. It's now in a, in a aisle. And I believe this is it right here. The part that I needed. Hope it's this one. Looks way bigger. Yeah. Back at the house, I already got the part washed and cleaned off. I don't know if this is going to be, uh, these brake lines, if they're going to be long enough. But we will give it a shot. What a pain. I got it swapped out. And for the lines, the lines are really tight. I was able to put them on here. What I had to do was put the lines before I put the master cylinder into the brake booster. Hook up the lines and then roll it really slowly. That way the lines would roll. You guys can see that they're not pinched or anything. But just so the lines could roll. And it was just enough to get those lines on there. But this is EG brake booster, EG master cylinder. I'm gonna go ahead and try to bleed the system out a little bit by myself. So I'm gonna be using this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump this with my foot then I'm gonna get in here I'm gonna lock it in like so like that I'm gonna come back here I already got the car up in the air I'm gonna come back here you guys can already see this guy right here we are gonna connect this little bottle thing right here and then after we connect that little bottle thing we're gonna go ahead and release this um, this is an 8 and it's smaller than this it's kind of weird I thought it was an 8 for some reason but I'll go ahead and get the right size everything's pretty much bled for the brakes the only thing left is this guy down here we're gonna have to figure out a different time to do this because right now I'm pretty hungry and my wife is calling me so I'm gonna have to go do some other stuff I'm just gonna go ahead and upload this video whatever content I have right now because it's been a few days and I have not worked on the Civic so I want to throw some stuff out there for you guys and I will give you guys an update on everything that's been going on but either way I'll catch you guys on the next one peace out stay safe catch you guys later Oh, that's fine.